All right, let's bring in Fox News contributors Doug Schoen and Jamu Green, both longtime Democrats. Great to have both of you with us Thank tonight. You. Um, Jamu, your immediate reaction to this? He's gone. He needs to resign, full stop. There, there is no discussion that should be had about that. The thing is, Shannon, this has to be a much bigger conversation. And I want to talk about the Democratic Party's responsibility here for a second. I, I heard Howard Dean say one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard uh, just a few minutes ago on another channel. He said that, well, you know, black people are going to decide the fate of Ralph Northam. The reality is racism is not something for black people to fix. And we have these conversations in these moments when there are these flare-ups and they're usually Dems versus Republicans and pointing the finger at the one incident. There's a much bigger conversation that needs to happen. The Democratic Party has to deal with the racism within our own party. I said that very clear when I ran for, for DNC chair. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, anyone on any side, and I will say this to conservatives right now, who are cheerleading this and seeing this as something that's great that this person is being brought down, that's also wrong. Yeah. So how do we move past the reality that racism is embedded in our culture? There are many, many of our viewers who think that racism died with the Civil Rights Act of 1964. That is just not the case. But in 1984, when he was in that picture as a KKK, as a Klansman, or in blackface, I, I think I was 10 years old. I knew it was wrong. Any mm -hmm. child would know it was wrong. He certainly knew it was wrong. It's time for him to go, but it's time for all of us to deal with this in yeah. a much more responsible yeah, way. Yeah, I mean, it, it sparks very difficult conversations. Um, he is apologizing, but tonight not saying that he's resigning, saying he intends to finish out his term, as you saw in Leland's piece there. I want to read something from the Washington Post, which talks about several scenarios about what could happen next. They say don't necessarily count him out. They say it's easy in the blistering aftermath of an emerging scandal to assume that it will inflict more political damage than one might expect. Politicians expected to walk away from their positions in the face of public opprobrium have not in frequently served out their terms and have even been reelected. There are good reasons to think Northam will similarly be able to ride out his term, including that he's constitutionally limited to only four years anyway. Doug, does he survive politically? Well I must tell you, I agree with virtually everything Jammu said and couldn't disagree more with The Washington Post. I think the sign here of really extreme racism, insensitivity, goes beyond what any rational human being, Democrat, Republican, liberal, moderate, or conservative, should tolerate. His ability to serve and my party's ability to win the election is hurt inexorably by this outrageous collection of pictures. And that, plus his positions on infanticide, which to me is beyond disgusting, renders him unable to offer leadership. Virginia's a swing state. And I think for the reasons that Jammu eloquently addressed, a good first step, an important first step, is for him to resign forthwith. Well, we're getting word tonight, again, of more calls for resignation. I'm sitting here, and the list is growing in my ear as um, producers are sharing with me more information about more and more people who are stepping forward who are very closely related to him, and some of them not as relatives but politically so, uh, and those saying that they, they hate to say these things and to call for him to step down because they've known him to be, they say, a good man and a good legislator with respect to a number of things. So this is just the beginning of this conversation. Um, Doug and Jamu, thank you both for weighing thank in. Thank you. It starts from here. Thank you, Shannon.